going on out there across not just the Lone Star State, uh, uh, but here in West Texas. Meteorologist Joe DiCarlo joining us now. Joe, it, uh, you want to talk about difference in temperatures and just our viewing area alone. Yeah, big time. We're talking uh, temperatures 36 degrees in Anson earlier this afternoon. We were 81 here in San Angelo. <laughs> I mean, what, an hour, hour and a half to get to Anson from here? <laughs> it's so crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. And we got that cold there, unfortunately, though, continuing to move on off to the south, already affecting locations up to the north. We've been talking a lot about this Arctic air mass sitting across the northern United States. And with that, we're seeing a lot of uh, ice on the roadways. And we have to remind you to be safe on those icy roads because we may see that winter weather here in West Texas later on in the week. Let's take a look at this video here. This comes in from West Allis, Wisconsin here. You see uh, the snow cover on the grass and you see the cars going through the overpass. Then take a look at this truck here driving down the interstate here in uh, just a second. If he comes into the shot, there he is. He moves, goes over the barrier there and falls 70 feet. Unfortunately, or Good news though, he is okay. Thankfully, uh, no fatalities or massive injuries here, but uh, shows you the icy roadways and also some icy roads uh, seen in other videos here. This comes in from Oklahoma City earlier uh, today. We were seeing those icy roadways. Arctic air mass, not too far north of West Texas. You see some of the icy roads. Wasn't really a heavy rain, heavy snow going on in Oklahoma today, but we had that drizzle that made that icy road uh, conditions. You see the spin outs there. And then one more video here, uh, also from Oklahoma, shows the icy roadways and a truck driving way too fast for those conditions and just losing uh, control of his vehicle and sliding down the road there. So I'm telling you this because we're going to expect some of that winter weather here in West Texas. We may even see some drizzle that may lead to some of these icy roads that we've seen in Oklahoma and off to the north in our local area later on in the week. Let's talk about our weather live look right now at downtown San Angelo. San Angelo, we haven't dealt with any winter weather today. It was a beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. We reached the low 80s. It is still warm. Taking a look right now at downtown San Angelo. Not the case, though, if you were up in the big country. 71 right now in San Angelo, 49 in Abilene. Much cooler up in the big country. Current temperatures. 37 in Benjamin, 42 in Haskell, 44 right now in Aspermont. Moving on down to the Concho Valley, much different story. Most of us sitting in the low to mid 70s, 76 El Dorado, 74 right now in Mertzen. Why the temperature gradient? Well, we got that cold front that became a stationary front with those winds out of the northeast off to uh, off in the big country, winds out of the southwest off along Interstate 10. So this uh, gradient here, this uh, stationary front, is going to depend on those temperatures over the next few days. Off to the north, much cooler temperatures. Off to the south, much warmer temperatures. So this stationary front just hangs out over the next few hours. Overnight tonight, those temperatures upper 20s to low 30s north of Interstate 20. Meanwhile, we'll be in the mid 70s off along Interstate 10. Move throughout Tuesday afternoon. Much cooler air up in the big country, upper 30s, low to mid 40s. Meanwhile, 50s, 60s, 70s, may even get down uh, into the low 70s off to the southwest. And then Wednesday morning, this just continues to sit with us. So about half the area dealing with that warm weather, half of us dealing with that uh, cold winter like weather Wednesday afternoon. More of the same as we get towards Thursday. Second shot of cold air moves in. We all turn cold as we go towards Thursday. Thursday afternoon temperatures, most of us sitting in the 40s. Why? Well, this cold Arctic air mass off to the north pushes our mild air far off to the south. And we just turn cold here towards the end of the week and into the weekend. And this just sits over a good portion of the country as we get towards uh, this upcoming Valentine's Day weekend. Also tracking that chance, like I said, drizzle today up in Oklahoma. Got that chance on Wednesday into Thursday, maybe even some freezing rain up in the big country as we get towards Thursday morning. We'll keep you updated over the next few days on that. Full look at seven day forecast 52 for your high temperature tomorrow in Abilene, 49 on your Wednesday. And take a look at this. It's just a winter forecast 20s for highs as you get towards this upcoming weekend. San Angelo. We're a little bit warmer. We'll be in the 60s if that front moves a little bit further off to the north. We may even see some 70s here in the Concho Valley tomorrow. So big time temperature variant depending where you are tomorrow. That temperature can uh, vary depending uh, where you are across West Texas. 58 on your Wednesday and then we're much cooler Thursday and into the weekend. We're talking those highs below freezing this upcoming weekend. So Tim, we had an 81 degree high today. And uh, now we're dealing with those temperatures below freezing by the upcoming weekend for highs. Yeah, hey, only in Texas. That's what they say, right? Even this, yeah. though, is, is quite drastic. It's a big time uh, Arctic front that's going to move into the area, especially towards the end of the week. Uh, the rest of the country has been dealing with it, but now it's our turn, at least for a week or so. Um, it's Texas. We'll warm up by the end of the month. We'll be just fine. Great job, Joe. We'll see you back here tonight at 9.